Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 774. This is another Saturday night at the movies. And rather than doing one specific movie, tonight we're going to do all of the Star Trek movies. If you're a hardcore Trekkie, this quiz will probably be too easy for you. And if you've never watched Star Trek, this quiz will probably be too hard. It's right there in the middle. So good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. After the original television series was canceled, he lobbied to continue the franchise through feature films. What was the name of the creator of the Star Trek universe whose idea to move the show to the big screen was finally accepted in the 1970s? The creator of Star Trek is Gene Roddenberry. Question number two. Once movies like Star Wars and Close Encounters of the Third Kind became box office smash hits, Paramount decided to release the first film in the Star Trek franchise. What year was Star Trek The Motion Picture released in North America? The answer is 1979. Question number three. The main setting of the original television series, it had also been depicted in spin-offs, films, books, products, and fan-created media. What is the name of the starship that serves as the primary vessel for the Starfleet crew in Star Trek? That starship is the USS Enterprise. Question number four. First appearing in episode one of the television series, what is the name of the actor who played Captain James T. Kirk for the show's three seasons, provided his voice for the animated series, and starred in seven of the feature films? The answer is William Shatner. Question number five. Although it had a much smaller budget than the original movie, it is one of the most popular sequels and credited by some as Saving the Franchise. Released in 1982 and starring Ricardo Monteblon as the bad guy, what was the subtitle of Star Trek II? The answer is the Wrath of Khan. Question number six. In the 1984 movie, Kirk and crew steal the Enterprise and violate the quarantine of the Genesis planet to retrieve which member of Starfleet, who they held a space burial for in the previous film, in hopes that his body and soul can be rejoined. That movie was called The Search for Spock. Spock is the answer. Question number seven. Also starring in films as one of the primary character roles, what is the name of the actor who pulled double duty on Star Trek III and Star Trek IV by directing both of the films as well? The answer is Leonard Nimoy. Question eight. After seeing how easy it was to direct a major motion picture, what Star Trek actor got his chance in the director's chair for the 1989 installment of the franchise Star Trek V, The Final Frontier?
Star Trek V was directed by William Shatner. Question number nine. The second and final Star Trek film directed by Nicholas Meyer and the last screenplay co-authored by Leonard Nimoy, what was the subtitle of the 1991 film that served as the send-off to the original series cast? The answer is the undiscovered country. Question number 10. Originally airing on television from 1987 to 1994, what series of Star Trek episodes provided the setting and the cast for the next four Star Trek movies in 1994, 1996, 98, and 2002? That television series was Star Trek The Next Generation. Question number 11. In the 1994 film Star Trek Generations, Captain Kirk is joined by what captain, played by Patrick Stewart, to stop the villain from destroying a planetary system in his attempt to return to an extra-dimensional realm known as the Nexus? He is joined by Captain Jean-Luc Picard. Question number 12. After a failed attempt to assault Earth, the Borg attempt to prevent what tidal activity between humans and Vulcans by interfering with Zephram Cochran's warp test in the past, in the 1996 installation of the Star Trek movies? The Borg attempt to prevent first contact. Question number 13. Both the 1996 and the 1998 films in the Star Trek franchise were directed by what man, who also starred as Commander William Riker in Star Trek The Next Generation and hosted Beyond Belief Fact or Fiction on Fox? That multi-talented man was Jonathan Frakes. Question 14. Released in December of 2002 and in direct competition with Die Another Day, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and The Lord of the Rings The Two Towers, what Star Trek movie starring Tom Hardy was a critical and commercial flop? The answer is Star Trek Nemesis. Question 15. The mid-2000s revival of the franchise is often considered to be a reboot, but is also a continuation of the franchise. After being previously attached as a producer, what science fiction filmmaker agreed to direct the 2009 and 2013 versions? Those were both directed by J.J. Abrams. Question 16. In 2009 Star Trek, Spock's present-day younger self is played by Zachary Kinto and the volatile and arrogant cadet named James Kirk, with whom he must join forces with, is played by what popular actor? James Kirk is played by Chris Pine. Question 17. Leonard Nimoy's final film appearance before his death in 2015 was in what 
2013 Star Trek film that also starred Alice Eve, Peter Weller, and Benedict Cumberbatch, who plays the genetically engineered superhuman named Khan. Leonard Nimoy's final film was Star Trek Into Darkness. Question 18. Although there will obviously be more Star Trek movies in the future, as of right now, in 2022, what was the title of the final Star Trek film that was released in 2016 and was a direct sequel to the 2009 and 2013 films? The last Star Trek film was Star Trek Beyond. Question 19. The 2009 Star Trek movie was nominated for four awards at the 82nd Academy Awards, including sound editing, sound mixing, visual effects, and what other category in which they actually won the Oscar? Two thousand nine Star Trek won the Oscar for Best Makeup. Question twenty. From his first appearance in the nineteen eighty seven series premiere of Star Trek The Next Generation to his last in Star Trek Nemesis in two thousand two, spanning four films and two hundred and seventy two television episodes, what actor, who played a Klingon, appeared more than any other Star Trek actor in the franchise? He played Worf. His name was Michael Dorn. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Check back tomorrow for another new trivia quiz. And then check back every day after that for another and another and another. This is episode number 774, so we've been doing this for 773 days now in a row. If you've recently subscribed to the channel, feel free to check out any of the previous quizzes that we've posted. There are now 700 plus of them. You can find categories, you can find random trivia, you can find playlists. We've got it all on our YouTube channel page, so check that out. Here is question 21 for today the tiebreaker. What is the middle name of the USS Enterprise Captain James T. Kirk? James T. Kirk, his middle name is Tiberius. Captain James Tiberius Kirk. That's it for today. See you tomorrow.